Okay, guys, I don't do political related stuff on my YouTube channel, hardly at all. Unless it's absolutely needed or it just comes up in a conversation, I try to avoid talking about politics on my YouTube channel. But I mean, this is ridiculous. Alright, guys, so I'm sitting here playing some Modern Warfare, alright? It's bad enough that I get screwed by the SBMM every single day and have to play with cheaters every single day, you know? Bad enough as it is. But, why are y'all going to let someone make their clan tag Black Lives Matter, but you won't let someone make their clan tag All Lives Matter? Hmm? And you can try and say that it's a racial statement. How is All Lives Matter a racial statement when all lives, right, that means everyone, that inv like that... <sighs> That includes white, black, Asian, Hispanic, straight, gay, whatever, right? It includes all life. How is that a racial statement, or as Activision put it, profanity? But Black Lives Matter, a organization literally marked as a domestic terror organization, is allowed. Why is that? Because last time I checked, the Proud Boys, uh, Patriot Prayer, all of them, they weren't going around burning places down and rioting for over a year, alright? Y'all can say that the White House was a riot. It wasn't a riot, it was a rally. There weren't people throwing Molotovs and blowing things up and burning buildings down with people inside of them. No. They were standing there, then the police escalated the situation, and then they fought back. And they didn't even fight, fight back. They just tried to resist what they were doing. But, oh, it's perfectly fine for black people to go and burn down cities, murder white people just because they're white, all that good stuff, right? That's perfectly fine. But the second a white person does anything remotely bad, y'all want to sit there and cancel them. Well, let me tell y'all something, alright? BLM isn't this angel of an organization. Remember when the riots were first starting last year, and they went and raided a pawn shop, and they burnt it down? Well, guess what, guys? That was a black-owned business. And there was a person inside. They found a charred corpse inside of the um, pawn shop that they raided. BLM loves to cover this stuff up. Or how about we talk about a, uh, a BLM killing black people, right? Remember when they uh, remember when they did an actual terrorist attack and took over an entire city block? Yeah, cause I remember that. And they murdered people that tried to come in there. Whether they were black, white, Asian, Hispanic, whatever, they murdered them if they weren't already there. Two black teenagers were trying to go there, and they got killed. You wanna know what happened? And I'll tell you exactly, uh, if you wanna know what happened, I'll tell you exactly what happened. The two black teenagers were driving their car to the, uh, to the place that BLM decided to take over. And then what happened, you might ask? Well, one of the people there, one of the Black Lives Matter people there, opened fire on the cars and didn't kill them when they opened fire. Then he walks up to their car, looks through the windshield and says, Oh, you're still alive? And shoots both of them two more times. I'm not going to show the footage in this video and on my YouTube channel because I like to keep this relatively just people friendly. Because people shouldn't watch that kind of content. People shouldn't witness that, you know? But this whole BLM thing started because of George Floyd, right? Well, guess what? Newsflash to all of you idiots out there who are like, Police brutality, white supremacy. Um, despite what you want to believe and what you want to say, uh, George Floyd was never killed by the cops. He actually overdosed. They found five times the uh, lethal amount of fentanyl in his system. So that's for all you people who are like, oh, the cops, the cops. It wasn't the cops. It was George Floyd's own stupidity that got him killed. But that's besides the point. My main, my main question, right? 
if someone's not allowed to set their username to Blue Lives Matter, or they can't set their clan tag to ALM, All Lives Matter, right? Why on earth are they allowed to change their clan tag to be associated with a domestic terror organization? Literal domestic terrorists who are advocating for the extermination of white people. And keep in mind, guys, everyone likes to call me white boy and cracker, but here's the thing. I ain't no little snowflake, alright? I'm not pale, I'm, like, I'm mixed. And it shows. I'm very, very, very tanned. And a lot of people who have seen me, I literally talked to one of my friends the other day, and he goes, bro, you could literally pass for light skin. And I'm like, yeah, I probably could. That's how tan, right? So, this isn't like a white supremacy video. And I'll say it right here, right now. If you're a white supremacist, if you're a black supremacist, if you're a supremacist of any kind, and you have prejudice against any group of people, get off my channel. Because I don't want you here. I don't want that kind of energy on my channel. I don't want the negative hatred energy on this channel, which is why I don't talk about politics on this channel very often, but just, I mean, I'm already getting screwed by Activision, by their SBMM every day, but people are naming themselves BLM, or they're making their crew tag BLM, and I can't make mine ALM, or I can't make my username All Lives Matter, you know? It's stupid. It, it genuinely is. But, you know, I wasn't going to spend money on Activision after the lawsuit happened. And I haven't spent money. Other than getting Modern Warfare, I have not spent any money on the game. But now I definitely don't plan on spending money on the game. I have 900 COD points that I've racked up just from playing the game from the Battle Pass. And if I get a Battle Pass, I at least know that I didn't pay to get the COD points to buy it. It's just, it's a messed up world we live in, guys. I could go on about what BLM and Antifa have done, but I'm not going to do that because I don't feel like it. It's just a waste of time, waste of energy. Because there's always those liberals who come in the comment section being like, you're a racist this, you're a white supremacist that. Listen. This isn't made in white supremacy, and I literally said if you're a white supremacist or a black supremacist or a whatever supremacist, take it off my page, because you're not welcome here. Supremacy of any kind is not welcome here, alright? There's a difference between, like, edgy, offensive memes and someone being a legit supremacist. There's a difference. And liberals can't differentiate between the two, but at the same time, liberals are supremacists at the same time and it's just it goes to show with the stuff they say the actions they take it goes to show but it's just it's ridiculous I played three games of modern warfare right two of which all right two of which had blatant obvious cheaters there were okay Keep in mind, I got to play one game normally. This is usually how my Modern Warfare days go, right? I get to play one normal game, and then after that, the cheating problems in my lobbies get worse and worse and worse. First lobby was okay. Then my second lobby was the first cheater lobby, and there were blatant cheaters in there too. There were wall hackers, there were aimbotters, there were god motors, and then there was someone who started DDoSing the server fun times, right? And then the game after that, as soon as, because I'm usually the best player on my team, usually top fragging, as soon as I hit 30 kills, the server just like died, and I was teleporting in and out of the map, and dying over and over again, couldn't move, no one could move, and funnily enough, the enemy team was perfectly fine. But, you know, Activision doesn't care. They really don't. But if y'all are sick of this whole politics being brought into gaming by all these big corporations, then there is something you can do. And you might be asking yourself, what is that something we can do? It's called not spending your money 
not buying microtransactions. Don't get me wrong, I understand. You want that skin that looks really dope. You want this or that, and it's really, really cool. Trust me, man, if you don't spend money, then they're gonna, we're gonna force their hand. Because we've, uh, we've asked for years for these game developers to fix their games, stop bringing politics into everything, stop trying to brainwash the younger, like, the younger, uh, age range, right? And they haven't listened. So instead of asking them politely, we're gonna force their hand. And that's how you do it. You hit them where it hurts. Their wallet. The sooner people do that, the sooner we can enjoy playing our games again. But until then, it's going to be a bumpy road. I mean, dude, I jump on Rainbow, right? I'll jump on Rainbow or Modern Warfare or GTA. And it just kills my motivation to do anything else after I have to deal with, like, what... After I have to deal with what I usually deal with, it kills my motivation to even play. It really does. I mean, GTA is a little bit better, because at least on GTA, it's a sandbox game, and you hardly ever see the same people twice unless you have them added. But, video's over. I saw I'd make um, a little video to kind of explain what the main issue is here. Because for some reason, people can name themselves after terrorist organizations. Actually, no, video's not quite over yet, because I just still have another point, alright? I've got one last question, and then the video's over. So, Activision. If I can't change my username to Al-Qaeda, why can't I change my username to BLM? If I can't change my username to ISIS, why can't I change it to BLM? They're all terrorist organizations. They all murder innocent people. They all blow things up, destroy buildings, cause massive amounts of damage. So if I can't name myself Al-Qaeda, why am I allowed to name myself BLM? That is the main question I want to leave you guys off with. And with that being said, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate. But if you agree with what I said, share the video. And I'm out. Peace.